In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove a feature update from Windows 10. So if you've recently updated to the latest feature update, but it's all some calls and problems with your computer, such as programs and apps not working anymore and other issues like that, then luckily we can roll back to the previous feature update. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like this video, then click that subscribe button to help us out reach our goal of 60,000 subscribers. So the first thing that we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. Next, you need to click on update and security. And you then need to click on recovery. You will then see the option that says go back to previous version of Windows 10. So we need to click on the get started button. And before you go any further, I would now recommend that you back up any important files just in case anything was to go wrong. So we now need to choose an option from the list. Just simply select the option, the reason why you're going back to the previous feature update. So I'm going to select my apps or devices don't work on this build. You then need to press next. And you then need to go no thanks because we don't want to check for any Windows updates. You will now see a window just warning you of some of the things that will happen when you go back to the earlier build, such as you may lose changes to some of the apps and programs. So if you did install a new program to your computer in the new feature update, then that will probably get removed. And also you may lose other settings that you have made within Windows. So once you're happy with all that, we can now go ahead and press next. And you then need to press next again this is just basically saying make sure you know your password so you can sign back into Windows once we have rolled back to the previous feature update. So we can now press next again. So once you're happy with all of that, we can now press go back to earlier build and your computer will then restart immediately. So just make sure you have saved everything before you press this button. So I'm now going to go ahead and click on this button to restart Windows. Once your computer has restarted and you're back into Windows, you should now be back on the previous feature update. And if you want to check if this is the case, then you can right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. Next, you need to select system and you then need to click on about. You will now see if you scroll down what feature update you currently have installed. And as you can see, I have the 21H2 feature update installed. And that's because I rolled back from the 22H2. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.